Hi, how's everyone doing? My name is Eric Johnson from the Hanover Fire Department in Massachusetts. Uh, along with my crew today that's going to be helping out, I have Captain Diacetis, Firefighter Goodwin, Firefighter Morrison, and Firefighter Azizian. Uh, today's, the purpose of today's uh, exhibit is to show how sprinkle systems work, how beneficial and safe they are for everyone in their home. We have one of these props behind us which is sprinkled and one is not sprinkled. This is supposed to simulate a bedroom. Uh, we will light each one up individually and see the outcome of the fire and what the sprinkler system does. Also, I'd like to thank the uh, South Shore Technical School. Several years ago, we were able to establish a grant from the Home Safety Fire Sprinkler Coalition, uh, the Built for, Built for Life program. And uh, due to that grant and the donation they made, uh, the South Shore Tech was able to put this prop together for us. And Home Depot also donated much of the material. So with great thanks to them, uh, we're able to host this again. This is our fourth or fifth time doing it. I also like to thank, thank Steve Ryerson for coming and filming this today. Much appreciated. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're going to light this prop off. This is the sprinkler one first, and we're going to start a timer. We're going to kind of see where things go for the fire, how quick it grows. Our average response time in Hanover is five to six minutes, 60% of the time, and 40% of the time is more than that. So you'll see how quick fire grows and we'll kind of walk through the process as it burns. You can hear there that the smoke alarm going off. Everyone should know what to do when there's a smoke alarm. We get out of the house and we stay out of the house. Uh, going over real quick, we want to make sure that when you get out of the house, everyone, no matter what age you are, you have a special meeting place. Somewhere out front is ideal, preferably uh, by the mailbox or flagpole. Uh, this way when the fire department comes on scene, we know that everyone is safe and we go into putting the fire out mode versus a rescue mode if somebody's missing. We're now about 30 seconds into this fire. You can see there's a trash bin burning, smoke alarms are going off, and uh, the smoke of fire is building. Now fires, they start very small, but they grow very fast. So that's why it's very important that as soon as you hear a smoke alarm, you need to get out and stay out. We're coming up on a minute into this fire. We're waiting for the sprinkler system to kick in. And you hear that? The sprinkler just went off. And we can watch what the sprinkler does to that fire. As fast as it grew, the sprinkler system quickly put it out. Now sprinkler systems don't fully put out every fire, but they definitely aid in the assistance of putting it out so that it's safe for everyone to get out and for the fire department to get there safely. We're at one minute and 20 seconds roughly. Uh, we are probably just getting notified of this fire because we we're not notified as soon as the fire starts. We're notified when someone sees the fire or calls it into us. Now typically the fire department would still, we'd probably just be getting out the door from when we got the call and we would, upon arrival, anywhere from five plus minutes there, we would arrive on scene and put the remainder of the fire out. Now what we're doing now is, uh, on top of putting what fire is left out, we're doing what's called overhauling which is when we go in there and we remove all the debris, anything that burnt. We want to find any flames, or embers, or ashes that may still be burning undetected because we don't want the fire to flare up again. Now at this point in time, it's only with two and a half minutes into the start of this fire. We still would not be on scene yet, but hopefully everyone is out of the house waiting at their special meeting place out front and that everyone is safe. So the way sprinklers work is there's a bulb, a fuse, a fuse, like almost a fuse inside this sprinkler. It's a glass bulb. And when it reaches a certain temperature, what it does is it breaks that bulb and the, this water, that bulb is holding the water back. And once that bulb breaks, the water then comes out and puts the fire out. And that's how the sprinkler systems work. Now, you're not required to have sprinkler systems in the town, in the state of Massachusetts in every house. Uh, but it's very, you can see the beneficial benefits of having it.
It's only a few dollars per square foot to install sprinkler systems. Maybe a little more if you're retrofitting your house. But a brand new construction, it's well worth the cost of putting in a fire sprinkler system for the benefit you get from it. So they're putting this out with a water can. We have a, a hose with us on backup if we need it. But fortunately this little water can was able to put out this fire in this bedroom. Okay, so the fire is going, the fire started now. This fire, just like the other fire, is growing slowly, but grows quickly. You hear the smoke alarms going off. That's the early notification to get out of the house and stay out. We never go back in for anything. We don't go back in for pets, favorite toys, um, our phone, video games. We immediately get out of the house and stay out. We can replace all those items that may be lost in a fire. So we need to make sure everyone is safe and gets out of the house quickly and safely. So you can see this fire is growing quickly, just as the other one is. We're a little over a minute into this, this fire. And you can see the smoke and gases building from the top. You see that dark, that layer? That's the hot gases that are rising to the top, which eventually are gonna have to come down. They can only go up so high before they start building down. You can see the carpets going, the stools going, the mattress, the clothes, all the trash and water bottles that are left in the room. We're about a minute and a half into this fire. Uh, and again, we're probably just getting notified because everyone got out of the house and they called 911. And we're now gearing up, getting ready to respond to this fire. You can see again how quickly it's growing. You can see that layer of hot gases banking down from the ceiling. Again, you can see the fire spreading quickly over the rug along the mattress and you can still see that hot gas level layer coming down. Now everyone should be out of the house by this point because the smoke alarms went off and everyone heard those and went out. You can see that level, see that dark layer of gases? This is what it will lead to what's called a flashover. At a certain point, everything in this room will ignite all at once. That's what's called a flashover. You cannot survive a flashover. If you are in a room and it flashes over, it is not survivable. Everything ignites simultaneously. As you see, the, it's, it's getting ready to flash. The smoke is banking down. We're just over three minutes into this fire. Uh, we are still not at your house yet, and this fire is still growing. And you can see it just flashed over. Everything ignited simultaneously, all at once. There is no surviving this flashover. We are about three minutes and 40 seconds into this fire, and the fire department is still not on scene yet, and this fire is still growing. We would be at least another minute and a half to two minutes out, at a minimum, depending on where in town this fire is located. So we wouldn't bring a water can into this fire. Uh, we're going right, right for the hose.
Again, I'd like to thank the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition. Uh, we're, as I mentioned, we got several grants from them. We got a grant this year from them, which made this uh, possible to show the public and whoever else may see this uh, what sprinkler systems do, really. Uh, the lives they save, the damage they stop from happening from fire. You can see as I take this mattress out, it's virtually gone. Uh, the other one is still intact. The bottom mattress that's taken out, it's virtually gone. So again, this is overhauling, same as they did with the other room, only they had minimal overhauling due to the sprinkler system. So as they overhaul, they're still finding hot, what we call hot spots. Uh, they currently see something there that is still smoldering or burning. Typically we would do this prop on our uh, open house, which is typically held in October, but due to this year being in 2020, uh, we were unable to hold the open house, but we were fortunate enough to be able to still host this prop. We will put this all over social media um, and spread the word on sprinkle systems. So I'd like to thank you for your time and watching this today. Uh, we'll do a zoom in on each individual prop to see uh, more upfront extent of the damage caused by fire. Thank you.